Hello everyone. Um, today I have a a new device. Um, this is still within the Mobian, Droidian stuff that I've been doing. This time is a tablet. It's an X86 tablet. It is from Chewy Hi10 Go. Um, this is a really nice tablet actually. Um, it's a low power. As you can see, it has the Celeron N5100 and six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of, of sto um, storage. Um, as you can see, it says Mobian and it has Debian, which is uh, Mobian. They are just about everything works on the tablet, you know. Um, it took me a little bit to install Mobian onto the tablet. Uh, it was not your traditional USB stick and you get an installer. Um, it's a little bit harder than that, but essentially, as you can see, I managed to put it on the EMMC. Um, but overall, now that I put it, everything is working just about well. A few things, only two things really are not working all that well. One alone is a sound car. The only thing I managed to get it to work is the sound coming from an HDMI, which I will show you soon. Um, but there is no uh, microphone input or anything like that. This tablet also does not have a headphone jack. It has two USB-C ports. Uh, they are not Thunderbolt, so they either work for charging or transfer data and a mini HDMI port and a mini SD card. That's it. Um, the other thing that doesn't work all that well, and it's okay, is suspend. Um, if you enable it, once it goes to suspend, you won't be able to wake up. So what I did is I disable it and then I created my own TLP file or configuration. Um, and I am getting roughly um, 10 to 12 hours on idle. So right now it's on 45% uh, and I'm getting roughly four hours and a half. Um, right now the, um, the brightness is very low. I need it for the video. Otherwise it will reflect back, but if I have it at 20, 30%, I would say, you know, it would use a little bit more. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it, especially because it's an x86 tablet and I managed to get, you know, enough battery life out of it. Um, so let's get to it. So the tablet itself is really, really snappy. It feels like kind of like iOS and, and Android, you know. Um, which is one of the reasons why I got this is I always wanted a tablet. I didn't want to get an an iOS tablet or Android. I'm a Linux guy. I want to have everything in Linux. And I'm pretty happy that I managed to put Mobian on the tablet. One of the beauties of having an x86 tablet is that you can use um, x86 apps. You know, one thing that doesn't work on 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 the ARM devices on the phones uh, are the Chromium browsers. Um, and Chromium has excellent hardware acceleration, and I'll show you. For example, here we have. Um, I, I created a web app for YouTube. Um, I find it to be snappier than. The other GTK apps there are out there. I think my internet might be down. I hope not. Um, let's check another app. Great. I think it came back. There we go. I'll show you Netflix in the in this case. 
is very, very snappy, you know. It slides. Mamma mia, I'm making a mess over here. I guess I'm not good at videotaping and playing with the tablet at the same time. But it slides really easy, really nice. It does go into full screen really well. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, if I exit it, you know, it's very smooth. It feels like an actual tablet. You know, the slide works well. Let me see if I can try YouTube again. Hmm. Well, I had to work <laughs> a few minutes ago. Um, I think it's just my internet. It's down, but um, you know, other apps are working fine as well. You have GIMP x86 though you can have it on on your phone too but you just don't get the same performance out of it touch does work oops it is popping up on the other display for some reason let me see if i can put the mouse here okay here i am you know so that's working good. Uh, once Now that I plugged it in, once you plug in the display and uh, keyboard and mouse, you're gonna get this icon, the dock icon. This essentially will turn the tablet into a laptop, computer, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and now you can transfer between two displays. Um, I noticed that just about all apps tend to work fine. You know, um, as you can see, it doesn't use that much RAM. And GTK apps transfer to the other display just fine. Super snappy, you know. Um, now, if you use non-GTK apps, for example, um, let me see which one I can open here. Audio tube. This is a flat pack. It, it breaks. It doesn't even want to move at all. Um, I can't. So only GTK apps are working fine. Um, the rotation on this device is working fantastic. It's really snappy, actually. Let me see if I can do it one hand without breaking everything. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Nobody here. The camera is working as well. It needs a little bit of work. Um. You know, the back camera, it's a little slow. Might need a little bit harder optimization for that. Um, the front camera, it's a little bit better. You're gonna get to see me now. I feel bad for you guys with having to see me, but. And there you go. It's very snappy. Oop. I guess you can see it. There you go. Let's get this guy out of here. Um, but overall, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I'll be much happier once I can get the um, sound working. Uh, and then this is going to be fully a, a great tablet. Um, I'm going to be traveling soon. 
in a week or two. I'm going to take this with me and see if I can actually live up to it. So far, so good. I'm pretty happy. I've been doing some work with it. You know, it needs some extra work. Um, but yeah, I'll post later how to install Mobian on x86 tablets. Um, of course, every tablet, essentially the hardware compatibility is going to be different. But you can start having, you know, your Linux phone. This is Droidian. And you can have it with your Mobian tablet. Or if you have a Pine phone. Um, and so on. Or a Linux computer. So it starts to feel more integrated with the whole ecosystem. And I'm really happy with that. Uh, for those that are looking to move away from iOS and Android, this is a good way to start. This tablet, I think, is roughly $300, you know. Um, it's not the most powerful laptop or computer, but you can start doing all the same things, or more or less the same things, that you can on your traditional tablets. Well, I hope you guys like it. Um, as soon as I fix the sound, I'll, I'll bring it back and I'll show you guys. Take care.